Thank you guys, friends and family over there. My name is Ibrahim Bisiri Omolaja. I was working um, in um, Johannesburg. What I'm doing, I'm doing a medication now, like a pedicure and a manicure for those ladies out there, you understand, to make them look more beautiful. That's what I'm doing for a living in South Africa. For how long have you been doing this in South Africa? I've been doing this. I was fresh in South Africa. I was. I have. I have. I had to um to South Africa last year, December last year. It's not up to a year now. It's not up to a year. It's not up to a year. Let's say it's eight months now. Yeah, it's eight months. Okay, what's your experience like during this xenophobic attack? What do you want to share with Nigerians back home? What they are doing over here, it's it's like. What can I? I don't even know where to put. I don't even know how to. I, I don't. I don't even know how to explain it. It's like those South African. They don't. They don't like. They don't like we foreigners. You understand? It's like, and they're complaining that we foreigners. We, we are collecting the job. We are doing this. We are doing that. And outside there, you can never see a foreign. Uh, you can never see. You can never see a foreigner outside there selling their food like proper steak, or inside the mall. That those people that, that attend to that the customers, you can never see a foreigner there. Even a taxi driver, you can never see a foreigner riding a taxi. So what, why are they doing like this? Is as if they don't want all foreigners, and we are the one even trying to make their country to be more nicer. You understand? But at the end, we are doing nothing. Any personal experience during this period? The first time I came to this South Africa, when I was Jobe, in Jobe, the first thing I saw that I was very shocked, they are robbing a, a guy, a human being like hers, and nobody even tried to, like, just try to help him out or do something else. They are just looking without doing nothing. And it's unfair for doing nothing. But if it is Nigeria, we know the rights, we know the rules and regulation. So, I just want to shout out to Pastor Almin Elmera. Thank you very much. I really, really appreciate for everything you've done for us. God bless you and your family. More blessing, more, more blessing, more blessing. Thank you, boss. Thank you very, very much. Really appreciate. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for coming.